Hello again, I'm Rachel Carden. More violence in Fells Point. Police say someone discharged gunfire, injuring one person early this morning. It comes after a previously violent weekend in which three people were shot and multiple fights broke out. WJZ is live in Fells Point tonight. Rachel Menatoff explains why business owners say their concerns continue to go unanswered. Rachel. Rachel, all weekend long, there has been a heightened police presence here, and many streets like this one are blocked off by these barriers. But businesses we're hearing from say they don't think this is the solution, and they're concerned that this is actually hurting the problem rather than helping. Another violent incident near the heart of Fells Point. It's obviously a terrorist attraction, but that doesn't spare it from, you know, violent crime. Police are describing it as a discharging. It happened early Sunday morning. One person sitting inside a car on Alice Anna Street was injured. Local and state police officers descended on the popular Baltimore neighborhood. Last weekend, three people were shot and video captures multiple fights in progress. In order to solve a problem, you really have to listen to what the problem is. Ever since, business owners like Kathleen Dickinson are demanding that the city crack down on illegal activity like open air alcohol and drug sales. Some even threaten to withhold their city taxes until their concerns are addressed. In response, the mayor called a town hall meeting where the police commissioner promised strict enforcement. But Dickinson says she doesn't think that solves the problem. That isn't what we were asking for. We are asking for the police to be able to enforce the ordinances that are already in place, to enforce the parking violations that are going on, and to respond to what we were asking, and that's not what we got. She and other businesses are also critical of Mayor Brandon Scott, who didn't attend this week's meeting. I was at a previously scheduled community meeting that has been on my calendar for weeks. For people who call Fells Point home, Sunday's violence proves there is much more work to be done. The issues that lead to violent crime in the city haven't been solved and are kind of proliferating. And police haven't released any more details about this morning's shooting or any more information about a potential suspect. We're live in Fells Point tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.